Oh well, how's your back chemo? I imagine you're doing media duty. Is it a good sign you're probably going to be available to play? Yeah, um, I've just gone to training yesterday, um, did part of training, just easing back in, back in the gym and everything like that. Obviously my goal is to be playing this weekend if possible. Um, if not this weekend, then definitely next weekend. Um, I'd love to be back out on the field and make my debut for the Phoenix. So as soon as I can do that, I'm going to be out there. Yeah, and so what happened with the football fans? So you mentioned before you signed you'd had this sort of back um, problem you've been mm -hmm. dealing with, but yeah, what happened in that football fans game? It's hard to know. They still don't know what exactly happened. Um, it was more so, it was almost like being partially paralysed. That's the only way to describe it. I couldn't, it just came on and I couldn't move properly. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't run, I couldn't do anything. I just really couldn't move um, at all. And so without being able to do that, I had to come out of the game, obviously, which was really disappointing having home games and all my family there and being able to play in front of family and friends. So yeah, I think we're trying to figure out what the problem is. And if we can't figure out that, it's just like figuring out how we can treat it and how we can prevent it from happening again in the future. Um, we've got a good plan that has been, um, I guess, generated by the physios and coaching and everything like that and the Ferns and the Phoenix and working collaboratively to continue to make sure that whichever environment I'm in, that it's going to be the same plan going forward. Sounds pretty scary. It is very scary. It was honestly a little bit terrifying because I've only had it happen to me once in my life before and at that point I thought I had broken my back when it did happen. I was in hospital, I was, you know, like really bad. It was maybe three years ago, but um, when it happened again, yeah, it was, it was horrible and I was in a lot of pain and uh, yeah, it's not a very nice thing to have happen. Yeah. Is there anything you did three years ago to, to reduce it that you can sort of draw on for now? No, I was actually in Wellington at the time when it did happen and I was just getting physio, doing treatment, getting back into the gym and doing like rehab and everything. Um, I've been trying to think back about the times and what I did and how long I was out and everything, but um, I think it's just working with people and making sure we're on the right path. And I had a meeting with Coach Sins to this morning and we've got a plan for the next, you know, couple of weeks and stuff and we'll continue to work on that so I'm fine for the Ferns and with the World Cup coming up as well. So I imagine it's something you don't want to risk but you're yeah. also desperate to get out on the park yeah. right? Yeah. yeah yeah that's exactly it like if you ask an athlete they're always going to say they want to play it doesn't matter like what's what's wrong um, so yeah I really really want to be out there I want to be on the pitch I want to be um, with the team and I want to be with the Ferns as well coming up with the US tour um, but yeah I, I'm desperate to get out there but I know that I can't just push it and then be out for longer. So it's finding that line of where I'm, where I'm at and making sure the people around me are helping me find that line. And yeah. does that make it hard, kind of adding up how much minutes you might be available yeah. for? Yeah, time? it does It does make it difficult. If, if it was my choice, I'd just go for the full 90. <laughs> but um, I think it's smarter probably to ease in, maybe go 45, 65, and then maybe up to 90 after that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to be available as soon as I can and get back out of there. I want to be running, I want to be playing football. It's really hard to be on the sideline and just watching and stuff. So um, yeah, I just want to be out there. And how have you been able to watch the games with, I guess, a different viewpoint from being on the sidelines? What have you made of the first couple of tough losses? Yeah, I think there's a lot to work on. And I think with um, experience, you can see um, the difference in some players in terms of just their mentality and everything like that. And it's just trying to develop that throughout all the girls on the team and making sure going forward that we do have that mentality to like not give up because in the last game I guess we gave up three goals within 10 minutes and I guess when that happens is an issue with at that point of the game it was 70 and 80 minutes you know and maybe that was different to when we first considered in the first half so I think it's just figuring out you know how we're going to move forward how we can keep the same level of professionality in the team and just yeah move forward and try and try and make the team progress because that's all we can do yeah.